Hello, this is Vitain from Cisco Wireless Stack. Today I'm going to go over the quick tutorial of how to configure Bonjour Gateway, aka MDNS Snooping, on the Cisco Wireless Controller Release 7.4. What is Bonjour Gateway? It basically is a method to go past the limitation of the Bonjour Link Layer Protocol. Basically, Bonjour Protocol is a link layer protocol which does not traverse layer 3 boundaries. Bonjour Gateway helps to go around that limitation of the Poncho protocol. Here I have a 55-weight controller running 74100.0 controller. I have a 3502 access point on it, and I have two clients. One is my Apple iPhone 5 and the Apple TV, which is associated with the Apple TV SSID. Currently, I don't have MDNS snooping enabled globally which means that the Bonjour protocol is bridged as it was um, in release 7.3 and prior to that, which is it relies on the multicast configuration of the controller and on the wired network. So currently I have multicast enabled and it's set to multicast unicast mode. I have a software running on my PC which is called a reflector, which acts as Apple TV for my laptop and I can project my phone using that software. This is the reflector software in which I'm actually mirroring my iPhone screen here using multicast. The AirPlay option, this is my laptop, work laptop, and it's the software running on the reflector. So right now I don't have MDNS snooping enabled, and my iPhone is just discovering my laptop using regular multicast unicast mode. Also, which, um, the Apple TV, which is on a different VLAN, it's not being discovered by my Apple iPhone. I'm now going to go and disable multicast because MDNS snooping aka Bonjo Gateway doesn't rely on multicast traffic or multicast configuration. So my multicast has been disabled. These entries will... As soon as I turned off multicast, my MDNS MTID entries of layer 2 and 3 disappeared. Now I'm going to go ahead and enable MDNS snooping globally. By enabling uh, MGNS snooping globally, you have five services which get enabled automatically. That's by default. AirPrint is not one of the actually AirTunes is not one of the services which I just included right now. Um, so you have AirPrint, Apple TV, HP Photo Smart Printer One, Photo Smart Printer Two, and the regular printer enabled by default when you enable the global multi global MDNS snooping. You can add further services from the master services database. You have other services like iTunes, iTunes music sharing, iTunes home sharing, etc. The profiles tab under the MDNS tab shows you different profiles that you've configured. I just created a, a different profile called Apple TV just to show that you can have different profiles and you can add different services to it. These services are a subset of the global master services. So depending upon what services you've included on the global list, you'll only have those services displayed here, which you can select from the drop-down. I'm going to use default configuration, the default profile for my testing. The default profile, as I mentioned, has five services. You can add and delete those services from this tab. The domain name shows the services which have been discovered by the controller. It can be a wireless service or it can be a wired service as well. So my laptop is a wireless, sorry, my Apple TV is a wireless service. It's associated on VLAN 259. And the laptop which I was projecting my iPhone 5 screen is on VLAN 254 and my iPhone was on VLAN 254. I can quickly show you the VLAN IDs real quick. Um, so this is the SSID on which my iPhone is associated, and it's on VLAN 254. VLAN 254 is subnet 154-24. And my Apple TV is on SSID Apple TV, which is on a different VLAN, which is VLAN 259. That's 159. I'll quickly show you the entry for my Apple TV. It's this guy. And it's on VLAN 259. When you enable any SSID or create a new SSID, the MDNS profile, that's the default profile, gets automatically enabled 
under the MDNS category. You can disable it. You have control of enabling MDNS profile on the interface level, interface group level, or the WN level. Mirror my Apple iPhone screen again using MDNS. So now if you see, I'm actually mirroring my iPhone screen using MDNS. It's discovering my laptop services as well as Apple TV using MDNS. I have multicast globally disabled. So you can see the Apple TV being discovered here. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the mirroring on the Apple TV due to hardware limit limitation. But you can see initially with multicast, it could not discover the Apple TV because it was on a different VLAN. But now, after enabling MDNS globally, MDNS snooping globally, I can discover the Apple TV across VLAN boundaries. I will quickly show you a couple of show up commands which are handy. So these are all the services which have been globally enabled. And if you want to see a particular service detail, you can just use the command MDNS service detail and the service name. So let's see Apple TV. So we have these two services which have been discovered by the controller which are running the service string Apple TV, sorry, AirPlay TCP local. Other sh uh, show commands include show MDNS profile summary and then profile detail. These are the show commands, the additional show commands that you can use to troubleshoot any issues or see the details of the unwritten snooping and the clients. And you have the four debug commands to run to troubleshoot any MDNS related issues. All right, so here it was a quick rundown on how to configure Bonjour Gateway. It's basically as simple as just turning on MDNS snooping globally and configuring the right profile on the right interface or the WLAN or the interface group level. And there you have it. Um, thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.